So guys, it's that time. You knew that the Gourmand Queen had to do this. Today's video is the most exciting video ever because I'm going to be sharing with you eight Gourmand fragrances that you need to try in 2021. Or you can try them by the end of the year, but I've picked some underground Gourmand fragrances that you may have not heard of because they're not really hyped. Some of the fragrances are affordable, some of them are niche, but this is the kind of video that has me on crud, guys. Like, I could be playing some drill music in the background of this video because I'm literally a mad man right now i am gas so for those who are new to my channel i'm the gourmand queen and it is my life goal to try every single gourmand fragrance in the world and share it with you guys so if you're a gourmand lover like i am then hit that subscribe button but guys we are about to go on an adventure today so sit back relax try not to get too hungry and let's get on with the video so i'm going to start this video off with a bang and i'm going to share with you the most affordable gourmand on this list that is alexandria fragrances italian caramel this is that caramel sweet one ting but you also get this milky accords there's some milk in there and you also get a nutty texture to the fragrance i think that there's some almonds in there but overall this fragrance smells like you're baking these caramel biscuits in the oven and then you take the biscuits out the oven and you dip them in some milk that is how the fragrance smells to me this fragrance smells edible to me i mean most of these fragrances on this list do smell edible but I am obsessed with the note in caramel in perfumery. I'd like to think that I'm a caramel sweet one. So obviously caramel perfumes just fit my vibe. I'm joking now, but seriously, the note caramel is just so addictive in perfumery. I adore this fragrance, guys. It lasts ages and ages on your skin and it retails for £35, which is an absolute steal. The next gourmet fragrance that you need to try in 2020 slash 2021 is Pana London's Pink Champagne Truffle. When I first smelt this fragrance, I actually had to stop a minute and G-check it. I was like, wait, hold on. Is that you? Is that you? Yeah. No way that you smell this good. You're lying. If you like your chocolatey, boozy fragrances, then this is the fragrance for you, as it smells like champagne and dark chocolate. But the fragrance actually has more of a dark liqueur in there. But the raspberries and the rose adds this sparkly, uplifting nature to the perfume. This is delicious stuff, guys. Pana London is a really cool niche house that's based in London, and they know how how to do gourmands well and their fragrances are really beast mode but pink champagne truffle was my favorite so if you're looking for a delicious chocolatey fragrance then this is a fragrance for you pantheon roma does an amazing chocolate fragrance it's called dolce passionate guys you like my french bonjour bonjour comment tu tu pas so one of my subscribers asked me to do a video talking about my favourite chocolate fragrances and sis, do not worry, that video is coming, but if you like your chocolate fragrances, then you need to look no further than Dolce Passion. Guys, I'm not going to say that again in my French accent because I'll embarrass myself. But this isn't a boring chocolate fragrance, this is a very complex, dark and deep experience. If you like Tom Ford's Noir de Noir, then you would love this fragrance because it's kind of in a similar vibe but the main difference is this fragrance is a lot more focused on the chocolate and the vanilla it's a lot more sweeter in comparison to Noir de Noir and it doesn't have any rose in there so when the fragrance opens up you get that chocolate and the vanilla and it smells like you're drinking a luxury hot chocolate but as the fragrance starts to settle down you get this powdery nutty texture to the perfume which I think is a combination of that tonka bean and the saffron. There's also honey in this which gives the fragrance this syrupy balsamic feeling to it and then there's also a bitter touch from the truffle. If you like your chocolate on the luxury side then this is the fragrance for you but what's interesting about this scent is that all of those notes almost create this coffee style accord so if you're into your coffee chocolate fragrances then this is the fragrance for you. It smells delicious. It's quite a linear fragrance fragrance in my opinion but because it's got so much going on you'll never get bored of it it's so addictive 
The next fragrance is my special gourmand for the summertime. This is the Gate Paris Inside Out. I actually did a full review of this fragrance where I went in so much detail. So if you want to see that video, then I'm going to link it in my description box. So you can watch after this. What I'm going to say about this fragrance is if you like the sounds of a passion fruit and vanilla ice cream fragrance, then this is the fragrance for you. It is so beautiful, but it's so unique how the fragrance transforms. So in the opening you get this passion fruit and sorbet it's very very sweet and then in the heart of the fragrance some absinthe is introduced it gets really cool but then the dry down is this creamy vanilla oh it's amazing and it literally smells like realistic ice cream it's insane guys if you're gourmand king or queen and you're looking for a gourmand for the summer then this is the fragrance for you it works so well in the summer and you can get a sample for this on the Javoy UK's website as I said in my review please get a sample and Follow me on Instagram and tag me in your stories, letting me know your thoughts on this. I am so curious and I love hearing from you guys in the comments and in my DMs on Instagram. It literally warms my heart. If you're enjoying this, then could you please leave this video a huge thumbs up as it really supports my visibility on this platform. And I would absolutely love to reach my 500 subscriber milestone as soon as possible. So if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, then please do so. Mwah. Thank you so much. The next fragrance is a recent discovery of mine and when I smelled it I was so excited to share it with my gourmand kings and queens. Please excuse my French okay I don't know much French apart from bonjour but the fragrance I'm talking about is Je Imat Ni and I'm gonna put the name of the fragrance on screen so you know what fragrance I'm trying to pronounce. So when I first tried this fragrance I was so excited to share it with my gourmand kings and queens because this is for my fruity gourmand lovers. It smells like a delicious tropical fruit bowl but it's not some dry dusty boring fruity fragrance this is a fragrance that has a lot more character it's really really unique so a nice interesting note in the top of this fragrance is the dates and the dates smell like they've been soaked in some sort of sugary syrup as the fragrance dries down the plum gets introduced alongside some vanilla and caramel which i think contributes to that syrupy sweetness that you get throughout the whole fragrance and this lasts a really really long time in your skin and i know that we don't talk about them dead fragrances that only last 20 minutes on your skin unless it's a roasting video but i just wanted to let you know because i know that a lot of fruity fragrances have fleeting longevity so i have a million and one gourmands on my wish list and if you can relate then let me know by leaving this video a thumbs up but this next fragrance is by far on the top of my wish list and I'm gonna let you know why. I'm talking about Javoy's Remember Me. So the reason why this fragrance stands out to me is because majority of the gourmands I have in my collection are more appropriate for cooler weather but this fragrance is more appropriate for the warmer months. I mean, not necessarily in high, high heat, but it's more of a springtime appropriate fragrance. And again, I'm gonna let you know why, so let me land, okay? So this fragrance to me is a very bright and uplifting vanilla from the bergamot that's at the top of this fragrance, and it carries its way throughout the whole lifespan of the perfume. And there's also this spicy kick to the fragrance from the cardamom and the ginger. By the way, guys, if you didn't know, I'm obsessed with ginger as a note in my perfumes. Oh my god. But yeah, Javoy's Remember Me is a stunning vanilla for the springtime. So if you haven't checked it out, then please do so. You can also get a sample from Javoy UK's website. How many times am I gonna say that? But yeah, ladies, please check this out. It's a stunning vanilla for the springtime. This next fragrance is new to my collection, but it's not new to my nose. I'm gonna film an updated haul video where oh yeah it's going to be a very very expensive haul so if you don't want to miss that then make sure you're subscribed but this next fragrance i have wanted for the longest time this is insomnia and this is gourmand freaking heaven i've actually spoken about this fragrance on my channel i did a versus video against black phantom as the fragrance is really similar to that if you want to see that video i'll again link it in my description so you can watch it after this but this fragrance is similar 
There are some small nuances, but this is cheaper. This is £60, guys. So to me, Insomnia is a lot more sweeter in comparison to Black Phantom. The caramel is at the forefront of this fragrance and the coffee is more so in the background. The coffee is present in this fragrance, but it's blended so beautifully. And when you wear it, you get this caramel coffee blanket wrapping around you. It lasts ages, it's affordable, it's caramel, it's coffee. What is there not to like about this fragrance? If you haven't tried this fragrance, then please, please do. It's absolutely incredible. And the final fragrance is a luxury fragrance that is very, very expensive in my opinion, but you definitely should try it. I'm talking about Roger's Sweetie Oud. Sweetie Oud smells like a bakery or patisserie. So I am not gonna tell you the notes of this fragrance because the notes are literally a deception. That, that, they're literally there for decoration. Ignore the notes of this fragrance. This fragrance is all about the accords that the notes create. So it creates this accord of fresh, warm, baked croissant that is absolutely amazing. This fragrance is so unique. Listen, this perfume is absolutely amazing, but the way 2020 is set up, yeah? I ain't about to die broke for Roger. I ain't about to be eating corned beef and rice every day. You know that broke meal? Guys, when I get a Roger fragrance, the rest of the month, all I'm eating is bread and butter. Now, but seriously, I like to get my Rogers on a deal. So if anyone is selling Sweetie Oud at a really good price, then let me know. So what fragrances piqued your interest from this video and what is your favourite gourmand? Let me know in the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe. We talk about all things perfume here, helping you to be the best version of yourself smelling fantastic. And if you enjoyed this video, then please leave it a thumbs up as it really supports my visibility on this platform. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video on Saturday. Bye!